Realistically, I think a lot of us knew that we would be waiting for those key Midwest swing states. We are. Uh, we're no closer. It could be hours, possibly days, till we get a result. But for now, America holds its breath. Over to you, Piers and Susanna. Thanks, Tom Bradby and our colleagues at ITV News. It is six o'clock. We feel good about where we are. We really do. I'm here to tell you tonight, we believe we're on track to win this election. Good morning, Britain. Joe Biden might be sounding bullish, but it is still far too close to call. After a night of nail-biting drama, Donald Trump is still in with a chance of defeating his challenger to win a second term as president of the United States. It looks like Trump has defied all the polls projected to win the all-important states of Florida and Ohio, with crucial results in battleground states possibly still days away. Meanwhile, the president has accused the Democrats of trying to steal the election. We'll bring you the full story on that, live from our team across the globe as the result goes to the wire. And we'll hear from experts inside as a big name, including Nigel Farage, Sarah Palin, John Lydon and John Barrowman. We're here with you for the next three hours, and only one thing is certain. The race for the White House is far from over. Wednesday, 4th of November, 2020. This is Good Morning Britain. America Decides. With Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Well, good morning, Britain. It's just gone 6 o'clock. Welcome to the programme. As we thought, it is pretty chaotic. The US election will not be decided tonight. It almost certainly will now run for another few days before we get a clear result. But it's been a night of upsets, a night of boasts from both camps mm -hmm. that they're winning, uh, perhaps bullish on both sides, because right now, nobody knows.